Okay, so we are here at the Kucycle headquarters again. Um, this is my bike, it was one of the first built and uh, I come here again for some upgrades, uh, for some aero testing as well. So what upgrades do we have? Um, we have a little plate here to increase the stability of the arm pads. Um, that is really a nice feature so we don't have to tighten the bolts. Then a very nice upgrade is also the top cap. So this is what it looked before, just flat one. And now we added um, the possibility to put the bottle there because we found out in our aero testing that the bike is actually faster if you have a bottle there, even if there's no liquid in it. Um, also with liquid, but just putting a bottle there at that spot uh, improves the performance of the bike. Uh, it's also a very nice way to carry your liquids because it's on the center um, and you don't feel the weight when uh, moving, so it's not affecting the handling. So that's very nice. Um, then today at the aero testing, we're testing different angles of the extensions. So this is uh, like um, 10 degrees up right now, but we also have 5 degrees or 15 degrees. So we want to see the difference uh, between that. And uh, we might also test, you know, I set up my bike with a two by crank. So I have two chain rings in the front. But it's also possible to run it like one by, so that you have only one chain ring and you have uh, no derailleur. You have no, so it adds a little bit. It uh, lowers the weight a little bit, and it hopefully improves also the aerodynamics. And this is something we want to test as well. So we put another crank, we remove the derailleur, and we see how much watts we save. Um, ah, and another upgrade, um, you see it here. So this is our, the, new, uh, the new grips. So we do not need uh, handlebar tape anymore, which was always a little bit messy. And now it's really smooth. It has some damping also. So it's really comfortable. It adds some extra length to the grip and uh, it increases the comfort and also the handling of the bike dramatically. So it's only, you know, a little piece, um, but it went a lot of development in there and uh, it increases the handling and the comfort on the bike really tremendously. Yeah, so that's a, a really good upgrade. Yeah, I think that's the most important for Great. today. That's right. We'll update you after our error testing. Here we go. <laughs>3rd of July 2021 and today is an interesting day as we have done various um, aero performance tests with um, the device from AeroLab but we are now actually testing uh, ourselves and this is something we want to constantly do when new developments become available. Behind me here is uh, Joe Spinder who is uh, actually on the TF1 and we have the AeroLab, uh, the AeroLab sensor installed on the bike. Um, on the side behind me here is Richard with the iPad and the device. So we're actually running out um, 800 meters out and back loops, um, catching 5,000 data points per second and um, basically capturing the the, the resistance, the wind resistance, CDA, uh, uh, the speed, the power, um, the wind direction and the wind speed and the rolling resistance on the device. So good testing. Well done Joe and uh, we'll keep you posted on uh, test results. We're having fun at Goose Cycle. Have a great day.
So we're swapping the five degree extension angle back to 10 degrees. Is that correct, Joe? Yeah, that's correct. Just to do a verification test of the first, basically two setups. Yep. It's really like Formula One pit stop. That's right. Change the nose, <laughs> two minutes and you're done. <laughs>